And now, let's go out to the garden, join Damien Peach, and say something about how to observe the transit, what to do, and more importantly, I think, what not to do. Well, here on my lawn in Celsius, we have some of the equipment we are hoping to use on Tuesday morning, a clouds permitting. The first of all, timings. First contact from the inside of the sun occurs at 0614 summertime. At its best, about half past nine, and the entire transit ends at 23 minutes after midday. So there's plenty of time, it's not a hurry thing. And now, what about safety? I've got here a pair of water sunglasses. These are things not to use. Don't look at the sun through those. They are no protection at all. Here, a pair of the special filters issued by the British Astronomical Association. And these are fairly all right, but they have to be undamaged. You can look direct with those, the naked eye, but frankly, you can put these down as a card. I'd much rather project the sun's image, and then there's no risk at all. So now, how about actual observing? Introduce here, one of our best photographers, Damien Peach. Welcome, Damien. Thank you, Patrick. First of all, what about photographing in the light of H alpha? It's the first time it's ever been done, of course. Well, of course, this is a, a very specialised uh, filter that you can use to observe the sun, and it reveals the sun's chromosphere. And that will actually allow us to uh, see the transit several minutes earlier than invisible light, as clouds of hydrogen uh, called prominences are uh, littered around the outside of the sun. And as you mentioned, this is the first time this has uh, ever been captured in this uh, wavelength. Of course, not everyone, unfortunately, can uh, observe in these wavelengths. And a much more simple system to do it is sit by simple solar projection through a small refractor such as this. First of all, of course, you've got to line up to a telescope and don't put your eye anywhere near the eyepiece and remember, to cap your finder too. Do it by shadows. Yes. When you're lined up, then you say you have the image from onto a screen. That's absolutely right. At no time should you actually look through the telescope to line it up. Uh, it's easily done with shadows, as you mentioned, and this type of setup here requires no filter at all, and the image of the sun is actually projected through the telescope onto the white card, and that will give a very clear and very safe view of the, uh, of the transit. And of course you can photograph the card. You can indeed, yes. Yes, very easily. And with an ordinary camera, an SLR? Absolutely, Patrick. This is an ideal tool for photographing the transit. Um, of course, again, make sure it's done safely. Uh, a very low-cost solar filter can be fitted to the front of a telephoto lens, and typically this will only cost £15. Uh, this will give perf a perfectly safe uh, image. It won't damage the equipment, and it will give a very nice, large image on the camera. Again, I like my shadows, and yes. don't, forget to, don't forget a camera is a lens system. Uh, uh, what ASA film would you use, and what exposure? It would be typically around ASA 100 or 200, and the exposure would be very short on film, typically only a hundredth of a second. Well, that's what I get to do. What about you, Damien? What do you get to do? I'll actually be capturing the transit in a, a rather different way, using a, uh, a webcam. Uh, this is, uh, again, a very low-cost system, but it's capable of producing very good results for uh, imaging the sun. It's uh, a very simple system plugged into a laptop computer, as you can see here. It uh, actually gives a live video image of, uh, of the subject you're, you're imaging, and it's an ideal way to capture through uh, a filtered telescope, such as the Hydrogen Alpha Telescope. Well, OK, all you can do is to hope. Well, this, of course, is modern-type equipment. Uh, earlier, they didn't have that. Alan, what about the old 